I'm on a quest to find the best thrift store in America. Uh, and I figured for the first video of the series, why not start in my own hometown of Salt Lake City, Utah. Every store that we go to for the next few months is gonna get a grade based on these three things. Number one is the inventory. Do they have the kind of stuff that we like to find? For example, video games, vintage clothes, toys, sports memorabilia, electronics. Number two, quantity. Can we make a decent haul at this store? And number three would be the vibes. It's gotta be a fun place that you wanna go with a lot of character. I look, I'm at a pawn shop right here. And at the end of all of this, we're gonna make a donation to the winning thrift store's cause. But we'll get into more of those details as we go. Just minutes before this first location opens, this is the first stop in Utah, the Sandy Deseret Industries, AKA the DI. What's your favorite thrift store in Utah? Probably this one, just because it's like five minutes from home. If you're ready to see what the best thrift stores in Utah look like, here we go. Just a few months back, I found a valuable video game in this exact case. They had it for $100, but when I looked it up, it's going for 250. I ended up selling mine for 200, but I didn't see anything like that in the case today. The prices on all that stuff are pretty average. Let's try the shoes over here. Stitcher Shape Ups are always a decent buy, $6. Bye-bye, trainer. I'm aiming a little bigger today. Got this guy, $7. A good $40 controller, but it sounds like something's wiggling in there. Broken. Ogeo bag's not bad, but 25 is a little much. Stick around until the end of this video where we'll give each one of these Utah stores a grade. Also, take a quick second to subscribe to the channel so you can see where we go next. It only takes a second and it helps out a lot. Thought I was at Ross for a second. Let's do this. I'll donate a penny to the winning thrift store for every single like that the videos in this series get. Any luck? Uh, some carpenter wranglers and then this echo vest. Nice. Yeah. Judging by what my new pal Andy said, he comes here every day. This one is his favorite. This is probably good. As I fly to all these different locations around the country, I'm gonna need to find smaller items like this or else I'm gonna have a really expensive suitcase. This guy sold for 35 in the past, 21, 15, 20. I usually don't like to buy something unless I can get at least 20 bucks for it. That's what's gonna be difficult about this challenge is this location usually has great stuff, but I just came on an off day and there's not a lot of stuff to find. What time do you guys usually bring out new stuff into the cases? Is it just any time of the day or? Um, randomly. Hi guys. Hi, how are you? Hey, well. Three dollars. Have a good day. Thank you. We're gonna go to the Murray one, which is just up the road. I reached out to a few different Facebook groups to ask them where they thought was the best thrift store in the country. I got a lot of mixed responses and some people were definitely haters. They said, there's no way I'm gonna tell you where my honey hole is. First of all, honey, <laughs> let's not go there. So I thought I would make it a point to show where my very favorite thrift stores are in Utah first, because it's only fair. But honestly, I think if you're really a good thrifter, you have multiple places that you like to go. So this is the reason why I make these videos. I doubt that I'm gonna make money flying from Utah to Texas to buy something for $5, but I love it. So that's why we're doing it. So let's do it. This store has been open for about 45 minutes. Madden 25 for 15, six dollars, one dollar, four dollars. These guys are losing some major points with me because when you know that something's valuable like video games, but you don't know which games are valuable, then you either just list everything really cheap or these guys went the other route and they have $10 for every single game when the majority of these games are not worth $10. PlayStation 2 for 50, PlayStation 3. Three for 70. A few games with each one. It's price too hot. When the new cards come out, everybody flocks. There's an in and out Utah shirt. South Park Adidas collab for $2. This is probably worth about 20, 25 bucks. Good size. Of each of the places I'm gonna visit, I really wanna find something that's themed to the place where I'm at. If I go to Chicago, I wanna find a Chicago Bulls jersey, something like that. This new wave is 12 bucks. Looks like it's missing a couple pieces, but these normally go for pretty good money. 
I'm just not gonna get it today. But pretty decent variety we're seeing at the DI so far. I love looking out for like limited edition monopolies. I don't see any. I have an office one that sold for over a hundred. I have an adventure time one that I just got for a few dollars. So this one is rough, but what we're gonna do is go over to this thrift store called The Other Side. And it's literally a block away. They open in just like three minutes. The Other Side is great, but I think what they're not gonna score very well on is the variety of items. These guys have really good clothes and shoes sometimes, but other than that, the hard goods section is not bopping. I'd like to take this moment to thank the sponsor of our video, I'm just kidding, we don't have a sponsor. <laughs> I think that was more funny than it was. I need a sponsor. Somebody reach out. Maverick Gas Stations, I'm looking at you. We got one other guy waiting here. He knows what's up. So you're the DI, you got like a channel or what? Yeah, what's your favorite you go I to? I always compare them. I only buy shoes, that's how I pay for the shoes I wear. So I've got like a collection that's of sweet. shoes that I wear. Yeah, like no one really comes here. Everyone stacks the DI, but. They had these for, I mean they were 25 bucks, but and then they had these for 15. Well, still, like, if you got those even on Marketplace, they'd be, like, 80. Yeah, and then some Dunk Highs. I feel like this is the best that I've been to for shoes. I found a pair of Yeezy Red Octobers here, but they were very fake. These are what I just found. I'd be insane to find a real pair of those. Hey, hurry up, get out. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> Hello. Appreciate it. Thanks. Come on in, please. Thank you. Hello, good morning. You're proving your point right now. Can I see what you got so far? Yeah, I mean, just some, some free runs, some Flyknit, uh, I think these are the Air Max Thea Flyknits, some uh, 2090s. I don't know, probably drop these, but. I might clean them up for $7, who knows. Anytime something looks unique and I lack the info to look it up, I use the Google app that lets me take a picture and pulls up similar images so I can find the value. Soul Caliber, worth at least 30 bucks. Anvil tag. These ones, yeah. They're not bad. Yeah, I gotta fix the toes. You know, you put that, uh, the sole thing in there, and you oh, wet yeah. them up, and let them dry on that, and it'll, it'll take out the creases on that. Okay. I'll try it out, thanks. That one guy that cleans up the shoes? Yeah, it was the, I just ate myself 150 bucks. Squishmallow for two, I'll take it. With the tags. I think two of them are two and two of them are one. You need to stuff it all in the same bag, that's fine. Thank you. Of course, you have one for Too. So just over 17 spent at the other side. I have to say one of the biggest pros of this place is profit is not their main priority. Another plus for these guys is they offer a 10% discount for anybody who follows them on social media. We're going to another place now that happens to be my own hidden gem. These guys aren't for profit either. Anytime that I have extra inventory or I'm clearing something out, my stuff goes to them. They do a lot of clothing donations to the homeless. We're moving from here in Murray all the way down to Crossroads Thrift Center in downtown Salt Lake. This one is very inconspicuous. Let's see what they got. Hey, how are you? How's it going? Good. How about you? Good. <laughs> they told us something they would wear. Oh, you bet. I hope it wasn't so, too much trouble to... It was really cool. Okay, good. Appreciate it. Okay, this is probably worth it. What's this one? Just search this shirt, and if it is vintage, it is selling for $130. All t shirts are a dollar. An original Game Show Network hat. I used to watch Family Feud back in the day. I don't even remember the logo looking like that. Survey set! Let's go.
Uh, two dollars for totes. Okay, I can take a few? Okay, I'm ready. I've got this stuff and then I'm gonna do five of these. Five of those, okay, 10 for totes. These are so cool. I had to look this up. They're like from Scream. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wait, really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah, there's um, this person who donates stuff to us who just has like total time warp stuff. I'm a sucker for like the 90s. Man. Absolutely, yeah. Thanks so much. Oh, I still need that 14. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> You're good. <laughs> Clueless. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Today went pretty well. Let's review everything we got and rate the stores. Utah native Post Malone's Raising Cane's. It's where we're doing this review. Okay, that was a delicious meal. Let's recap the best thrift stores in Utah. Our first stop that we made today was at the Deseret Industries in Sandy. That is one of my very favorite local thrift stores. In the past, I found some amazing things. I found several designer purses for like $10 a piece. I met a new friend, Andy. I was only able to find a lonely CD player. That's gonna kind of complicate things here because I normally find great stuff there, but today I didn't. Do I judge on the past? because that's not gonna be fair when I go to all other thrift stores around America. I'm gonna have to judge it on that one experience. But I do think for the sake of this challenge, we weigh in more on the stuff that I found today. The vibes of Deseret Industries are great. They don't necessarily have a ton of character in them, but they are really fun. They're clean and well organized. And now for the cause. According to Deseret Industries website, the donations fund additional schooling, professional career counseling, and more for associates who have struggled finding employment in the past. So they're definitely gonna get some points for that. Here's the overall scores for Deseret Industries and Sandy. Okay, next up was the Deseret Industries in Murray. We did find some good teas there, including the South Park that should go for about 30 or 35 bucks. In the past there, I found a Adventure Time Monopoly board game for $3 that I've resold for 50. That location is a little bit smaller than the first one that we went to. Uh, the vibes were about the same and I ranked them just a little bit lower. Next up was the other side, just a couple of blocks away from that Deseret Industries in Murray. Like I said before, my heart almost dropped the time that I went there and got the fake red Octobers that if they were real would have been worth thousands of dollars. Today I actually had a little bit better variety than I actually thought that I would. We got a pair of shoes there. We got a pretty cool Darth Vader tee that should go for about 30 bucks. I even found a couple of squish balls. Keep an eye out for those. Those go for like anywhere from 10 to 20 bucks and the rare ones go for like 80 sometimes. As far as the vibes, the other side is really interesting. It's uh, it looks more like a boutique, but it's definitely a thrift store that thrift store prices. The employees are always so nice. They offer 10% off as a bonus if you follow them on social media, which I'm a big fan of. And I absolutely love their cause as well because they hire people who have not made the best decisions in life and they help them to get their lives back. So the other side gets some major points for that. The variety was not great. I think that's the thing that they're gonna get docked on the most, but other than that, other side is a good contender. Finally, we moved closer to downtown Salt Lake and stopped at Crossroads Thrift. Definitely one of those little hole in the wall thrift stores that everybody looks for. I've been keeping it a secret for a while, but it's pretty awesome. I got five different brand new with tags, scream jackets. I bet I can get 60 to 80 for each one of them. I got a couple of tees. One's an absolute banger. I think it's ugly. <laughs> it's kind of hideous but I looked that one up and that one should go for about $100. I think we got a nice driver for a dollar. That should go for like 30 to 50. We got a couple of hats, the jazz hat that we should check off the list for our specific Utah souvenir item. And we got the DJ hero for the Wii, which should go for about 30 bucks. I'm gonna bundle it into an existing Wii collection that I have and sell it all together. Amazing deals, great contemporary vibes and quantities of items. Their mission to help clothe the homeless is amazing. There's a separate room they have over there that has um, toiletries. So homeless people can go in there and actually take some of the donations that come in to help take care of themselves and their families. Crossroads is gonna win it today out of the four. We'll see how it stacks up with the rest of the country. So subscribe and find out next week where we go when the best thrift store in America continues.